Genespark AI is a 30-person team, 1 billion valuation in just 6 months. Genespark is a Silicon Valley AI agent company that grew from a 30-person team to a unicorn level valuation in just 6 months. Hey guys, this is Frank. In this video, I will show you another very useful AI tool, which is Genespark AI. This one is all-in-one AI platform. It has a whole bunch of the agents, and this agent could work together and could communicate with each other. You don't need to copy the content from one agent to another agent again and again. Before I use this one, I use the ChatGPT, and sometimes if I need to generate some voice, I have to copy the results to the Eleven app or copy to the clean to generate the new content. So I have to switch the platform uh, again and again. But this one, you could do everything in the same platform. It's very useful. So let me show you one use case I did recently. Like me, I need to uh, uh, reply my email every day, like this one. Before, I just, uh, if I need to reply this email, I need to do a screenshot and copy the screenshot to the chat GPT. Now, I need to copy this one to the chat GPT and say reply in English. Okay, let's go. Okay, after that, I will copy the results to. Okay, I will copy the results and uh, reply that in the uh, Outlook. So you have to copy the content between uh, each tool or each application. But once we have this uh, GeneSpark, we have the AI inbox. We could use this one to process the email directly. Let me show you how it's going to work. Once you click this one, you will go to this page. Of course, you need to connect your account to the uh, GeneSpark. You need to allow the GeneSpark to access your email. So once you have that, you don't need to do a screenshot. You just uh, go over here. You could do this one by the voice command or the real-time API. Um, but I don't do this one very often because that's not very efficient. You have to uh, wait until it can recognize your voice and give your uh, send your response back. So I do this guy, this button. Just use this button. Say I already did it before, so let's say this guy. I just say reply. That is all. Everything I need to do. Just send this guy. Okay, it's pretty fast. Yeah, it's generated the content. I don't want to uh, send an email to this tool, so I just, uh, for the test, I put my email address. Okay, you can review this one, and after you review this one, you don't need to copy this to the Outlook. You just click the send button it will send the email to the target so let's go send now an email send probably it's need a few seconds you will get the email back yeah, that's the one i sent before so right now here is the new one yeah, this is very convenient. You don't need to copy the content uh, from one place to another place. This will save you a lot of time, especially when every morning I got a lot of email and some email just a regular query about the order, about the status of the project. So this will help me a lot. I don't need to copy stuff again and again. Um, another use case I like very much is the uh, slides. Let's show you some uh, use case for the slides. This one is very helpful. Uh, you guys may already know I have a startup, which is a Navi talk. So I, if I want to create a pitch deck for this one, generally I need to prepare a lot of documentation like what I'm doing 
and what this product is doing and what the marketing looks like. I need to do a lot of research, but right now with the Jeans Park, you don't need to do that. It's very easy to do that. You just need to write some prompt and the prompt is a very simple. You don't need to even uh, write some real text. You just say, okay, look into my website and create the pitch deck for me. That is everything you need to do. You don't need to do extra stuff to prepare the documentation. Just put this one to the Jeans, jeans Park. Let's go to the AI slides. So put the thing over here. It will do the web search and get the content of the Navitalk AI and find out what exactly this product is doing. Now it's working. It may take like a few minutes to get everything done, probably more than 10 minutes to get everything done. It's doing the web search like this one. It's called different tool or the M MCP server for different tasks. It will split the main task to a small to the sub task and do each one one by one it will plan how to get everything done so this one is doing the like say is to research the Navitalk AI website and find out what it's doing so it's say uh, what I'm doing what the feature of the Navitalk AI so a bunch of stuff over here it will use this one to create the pitch deck. So it's keep working, it's keep looking into the detail of my website and also do some marketing research like what the, uh, the sites of this kind of the marketplace, something like that. So now it start creating. I also use the menace to do that. But the menace, there's some difference between this one and the menace. The menace not allow you to uh, modify that online. You have to download that. It not allow you polish your um, result. So the results, basically, I think most of them doing very good. But I can show you the difference. I can show you. Um, I already did this before, so I don't need to wait. Uh, let's get done. Let me show you what I did before. If you want to take a look at the history, you click this button. So I already created this before. So let me create something I generated before. Let's say it's uh, this one. Now you can see uh, here I generated before. Is uh, the style looks very good. Um, I also use the menace. So if you Look at the one I generated the menace. The menace one, the style not uh, very good. And uh, you cannot change this one. If you want to change this one, you have to uh, go over here. If you want to polish a little bit. So it has to regenerate this from the beginning. But uh, for the Gene Spark, if you want to modify some of them, like for example this one, I don't like the style of this one. I want it more uh, the color. I want it blue. So I just say, okay, let's fix the layout. Let's say something. I don't like the dark style. Okay, now let's uh, fix the style. This one is just to work on the page 3, so it won't change others. It's analysis and trying to apply the new style to this page. It may take some time. Now it's done. You can see the difference between this page and others. If you like this page, you could say, okay, let's apply this page to others. So it will go over here. You could say, apply the same Night Pro uh, stuff to other pages. So let's go apply it to every page. 
Okay, it takes some time to get uh, it applied to every page. So you can see every page now uses the light blue color. If you don't like this one, you could roll back the change. So just go to here, find the version you want. Uh, let's say go back to this one. Okay, this one looks good. So let's say roll back to the point 11. Now it's able to roll back the change. Roll back change is much faster because it's already there. You don't need to uh, do some um, AI stuff. Yeah, another feature I want to show you uh, is you could uh, modify this online. So for example, if you want to change any of this, you just go back to advanced edit, advanced edit. So this way you could uh, uh, make more change if you don't like this one. Uh, so let's add something full over here and save that. It will automatically save and go back to over here. You will see the change is here. You want to remove that, just remove that. And even more, you could uh, ask your uh, co-worker to do the same thing. Like here, you could... Uh, I already invite another guy to work on this one, so... Most... Um, it's for the collaboration, you could uh, ask your team member to work on the same slides. Another very nice feature I will show you is the voice. So you could uh, convert or create the podcast based on your pitch deck. So let's show you how it's going to work. This one is a very cool feature. So just click this one. It will automatically generate the podcast for your pitch deck for so generally speaking for the podcast you have to design the scenario like uh, create the script for each people for each role to ask some question and answer some question this will take a lot of time to generate the script and then you need to put the script to the 11 app and uh, uh, generate the voice one by one and put them together use some tool to merge them together but right now you don't need to do that you just uh, it will automatically generate the script for you and generate the question and answer for that so what you need to do just say yes generate the podcast for me so now it will generate the podcast it's take uh, another five or ten minutes but it's uh, much more easier than do it by yourself. So it will generate the two speaker. I already generated this before, so I will show you what the result looks like. It's very impressive. I mean, if you, by yourself, you may not able to think about that much question uh, to answer. Okay, now it's generated. It will take about uh, uh, 5 or 15 minutes, 5 to 15 minutes to get it generated. Uh, I already have one, so let me show you the one I already have. So you can think about what it looks like. Uh, okay, let's say we have one generated over here. Let's open this one. Yeah, this one as what I generated before. Let me hmm. play that. Play that. Welcome to the future of digital interaction. I'm Alex. And I'm Sarah. So today we're unpacking the investment opportunity behind a company that's solving, I mean, really one of the biggest problems in AI. Right. Making digital conversations feel truly human. The company is NavTalk AI. Sarah, you and I have both experienced this, right? You try to talk to a chatbot or, you know, a digital avatar and, with and you're just long, long awkward pauses. Yeah, you can say it's very natural. Uh, it's very nice. You can even just uh, publish this one to the uh, podcast platform. So just click this one. It will publish to the 
uh, Ginspark platform, but you can download the audio and uh, upload it to different platform. This is a very, very useful. I think if you do this by yourself, it's probably at least will take you half day. But uh, uh, use the Ginspark, it could only take about uh, a half hour to get everything done. Yeah, I like this feature very much. They also have a whole bunch of another uh, agents you could use, but I have not yet dig into all of them. Mm, I will take look into more detail later, like the AI uh, image, the AI video. I use the clean to generate the AI uh, video. Um, but I don't use this a lot, so maybe just uh, um, once a week. So if you only use a little bit of uh, this thing, you could use the Ginspark because they are, you only need one subscription. You don't need to subscribe to a different uh, platform. Uh, even different platform, you just pay a little bit, but you need to sub subscribe a lot of them so every month you need to pay a lot of them so with Ginspark you could do a lot of stuff in one place you don't need to subscribe a whole bunch of different platforms like in Nevenap, Malice, uh, different uh, kind of the AI platform just use one account you could do a whole bunch of stuff especially for this uh, platform you don't need to use every day you just use like uh, once a week so you don't need to waste time on that. Just use one Ginspark account. This is all in one platform. This is very useful. I will use this a lot during my uh, daily work. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy uh, this um, platform. Let me know if you want to know more feature about this uh, uh, platform. Okay. If you want to try Ginspark for yourself, now is the best time. New users get free credit when sign up. In 2026, you will get unlimited AI chat and AI image generation. And from January 1st to January 7th, Ginspark is offering limited time 40% discount on the annual plan. Click the link below and give a try. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Talk soon. Bye.